This lesson is on solving percent equations. Percent equations can just about always be reduced to one pair of equivalent fractions. The fractions are percent over 100 equals is over of. Percent over 100 just comes from our definition of percent, meaning out of 100. The other side, is, is the number associated with the word is in the question, and of is the number associated with the word of in the question. Of is short for out of, putting it in the denominator. Just like percent is out of 100, so 100 is in the denominator. There are three things we can solve for in this fraction. We can solve for percent, we can solve for is, or we can solve for of. In the next examples, we will do one of each of those. In this first example, 30 is what percent of 42? So we are looking to solve for percent. We start with our equivalent fractions. Percent over 100 equals is over of. 30 is a number associated with the word is. 42 is the number associated with the word of. Now let's replace these numbers into our equivalent fractions and see what it looks like. This is an excellent place to test out your estimating skills. See if you can find out what number would replace the percent sign that would give us some number over 100 that would be equal to 30 out of 42. Write this number on a piece of paper and then we'll calculate the percent and see how close you are. To calculate the percent, we need to isolate the percent sign. Right now, it is divided by 100. So to get rid of dividing by 100, we will do the opposite and multiply both sides by 100. On the left side, when we take 100 divided by 100, we get 1, which leaves us with just 1% or just the percent sign. On the right-hand side, we'll divide 30 by 42 and get the decimal decimal 714285, and then we'll multiply that by 100 to get our answer. So in this case, rounded to three decimal places, our answer is 71.429%. In the next example, we are going to find the percent of a number. Example 2. What is 36% of 70? The first thing we'll do again is write down our equivalent fractions. Percent over 100 equals is over of. This time, we don't know the is part of the question. We know of is 70, and we know the percent is 36. Let's substitute these values in. 36 over 100 equals something over 70. Again, try your estimating skills. Write down what you would think would replace the word is to make these two fractions equivalent. Now let's calculate for is. Is is divided by 70, so to eliminate that divided by 70, this time we will multiply both sides of the equation by 70. On the right side, 70 divided by 70 will leave us with just the one is, and on the other side, 36 divided by 100 gives us decimal 36. We will multiply by the 70 to get our answer, 25.2. Our last example, we're finding the out of part of the equivalent fractions. In example 3, 24 is 65% of what number? We'll write down our equivalent fractions, percent over 100, equals is over of. This time, is is associated with the number 24. We are looking for the of, and the percent is 65. Let's replace those values into our equation. 65 over 100 equals 24 over something. Again, try your estimating skills here. Write your number down on a piece of paper and we'll see how close you got. Now this time it's a little trickier because what we're solving for is in the denominator. We want to eliminate that fact right away. 
So to get rid of the of out of the denominator, we are going to multiply both sides by of in this case. On the right hand side, of divided by of will just leave us with 24. On the other side, 65 over 100 is decimal 65 times of. So now we want to solve for of still. Decimal 65 is multiplied to of, so to get rid of the decimal 65, this time we're going to do the opposite and divide both sides of the equation by decimal 65. On the left hand side, decimal 65 divided by decimal 65, again just leaves us with one of, and on the other side, 24 divided by decimal 65 gives us 36.923. Again, we rounded to three decimal places. So these are the three equations of percents that you need to be able to solve.